Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the mirrored write down triangle star pattern. So what exactly is this mirrored write down triangle star pattern? Let me show you. So this is how a mirrored write down triangle star pattern will look like. So we have to write a Java program to print this kind of pattern. For doing so, we need to find out few requirements from this pattern. The first thing that we need to find out is the number of rows. How many rows does this particular pattern have? One, two, three, four, five, total five rows. So this pattern have five rows. That's a fun thing. Second thing we need to find out is the spaces guys. How many spaces are there in the first row? Zero spaces. Okay, coming to the spaces, there are zero spaces in the first row. Coming to the second row, before these stars are printed, there is one space guys. The second row, we have one space. What about third row? Two spaces. Fourth row, three spaces. Fifth row, we have four spaces. Like this case, okay? The first row has zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. These are the spaces. And final thing that we have to find out from this uh, pattern is how many stars are there in each and every row? Stars. Coming to the stars, the first row we have five stars. Second row, four stars. Third row, three stars. Fourth row, two stars, and fifth row, one star. After collecting all these requirements from this pattern, now let's start writing the logic or code. Already we have written the code for the number of rows here. Since there are five rows, we have written like this. For int i is equal to five, i greater than zero, i minus minus. This for loop will iterate five times. Now second right inside this for loop, the first uh, we'll create another inner for loop, guys, uh, which will print the spaces. For printing the spaces, we'll create an inner for loop inside this external for loop. So for int j is equal to again five i'll say j okay j is equal to five j is we have to write the logic guys j is greater than i we have to say okay semicolon j plus plus sorry j minus minus let's see what will happen here so j is equal to five j is greater than i j minus minus and inside this we have to write the code for printing the spaces and we should make sure that this should not be the print ln statement guys. Instead, it should be a print statement only because all the spaces, all the possible spaces should be printed in the single line, not multiple lines. So we have to use print statement here. Now let's see what will happen here. I is five guys, initially I is five. Initially I is five guys. So five greater than zero is true. Zero is true. So we'll go inside this uh, external for loop. In, uh, when the inner for loop comes, initially J is code five j is equal to phi again and here condition is phi greater than i phi greater than phi is it true or false false guys phi is not greater than phi so no space will be printed in the first iteration as you can see here are there any spaces printed here in the first iteration in the first row are there any spaces zero spaces that's correct now what about uh, when i becomes uh, in the second iteration i minus minus will happen i becomes four four greater than zero is still true so the inner for loop will come Again, j is equal to five, j, uh, j greater than i. Current value of i is four. So five greater than four, true or false? Yes, it is true. So one space will be printed. Now j minus minus will happen. So it will become four, four greater than four, false again, right? So only one space got printed in the second row. In the second row, only one space. Like that, while the rows increase, okay? When i becomes three here, so greater than three will come. So two more spaces will come here, like starting with five, five greater than three and four greater than three. And finally, when J becomes three, it will false. It will be false. Condition will be false. will come out of the for loop. So two spaces. The third row, two spaces like that. Three spaces, four spaces. It will be printing. That's fine. This for loop is fine for now. Now, similarly, we'll create one more inner for loop. After this for loop for printing the spaces, we'll create a for loop for printing the stars. We have to create the for loop for printing the stars. So for int i is equal to, so not i, int k is equal to one, k less than or equal to i, k plus plus. Okay, k is equal to one, k less than or equal to i, k plus plus. Here I'll be printing the stars case, system dot out dot. Instead of print ln, we have to use normal print statement so that all the stars will be, all the required stars will be printed in the same line. Fine, so star, so here, in the first row, when i is five, in the first row, when i is five, five greater than zero is true. So 
So how many stars will be printed in the first row when i is 5? Let's see that. k is equal to 1. k is less than or equal to 5. So here, k is 1, k is less than or equal to 5. 1 less than or equal to 5. True or false? True, guys. Right? So when k is 1, 1 star will be printed. And when k becomes 2, second star, k becomes 3, third star, k becomes 4, four stars, k becomes 5, fifth star will be printed. Total 5 stars got printed. When k becomes 6, this condition will become false and will come out of this for loop. So in the first row, 5 stars got printed. In the second row, when k i becomes 4, okay, when i becomes i minus 1, that is 4. In that case, 4 will be there here. And here starting with the k is equal to 1. So 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, and 4 star. So till four only it's possible. So only four stars like that guys. Second row, four stars. Third row, three stars. Fifth row, two stars. Sixth row, I mean first first row, five. Second row, four. Third row, three. Fourth row, two. Fifth row, one. Like that guys, it will be printed. Now, one more thing we have to do guys. Before executing this program, we need to do one more thing. That is, we have to put a print ln statement here. The reason here is I'll tell you. You have to put a print ln statement here. After printing the spaces and required stars in the particular row, okay, zero space and five stars in this first row, we have to move to the new row, right? For that, we need this print ln statement. And in the second iteration, again, one space and four stars will be printed. Again, we need to move to the new line. So every iteration, we have to move to the new line. For this purpose, we have to add print ln statement here. So this is the code, guys, uh, which is required for printing this. Uh, write down triangle star pattern okay write down triangle star pattern let's see let's run this code and see whether we are getting the proper output or not you see we are getting a proper output guys this is how a right mirrored write down triangle star pattern will look like right so hope okay, so you understood how to write a java program to print the mirrored write down triangle star pattern so that's it guys thank you bye